Hey Ty. Yeah. Noticing some crystals out here. <laughs> What's going on with these crystals? Uh, let's see. It's probably gypsum. There was a couple of spots where, man, they were yeah. just totally it's thick. Gypsum or selenite. So is so, this something that you can find out here? I'm it is. Sure. Yeah. They, you find it a lot of places. So it's a precipitate mineral. It uh, means that the water that this deposit was in was salty, brackish, was uh, uh, like an estuary type thing that would have had a lot more salty, brackish water in it. Okay. So these salt and these minerals would have pre precipitated out in the dirt and then they rode back out. So that what you're seeing inside those is actually the mud or moss or whatever it was that was in the ground when they dinosaurs were here. So this is a good indicator to look at and say, hey, there was we're we're near the coast. We're in we're tidal. we're close to the close to tidal areas, things like that. Or backwater pools are very stagnant and brackish and dry up every year and stuff. Unfortunately, it doesn't help with the dinosaur preservation. It actually hurts. How so? So it's it, because that sort of environment is very slow with deposition. It doesn't bury them very fast and it's more acidic so the bones didn't preserve as well so you don't find as many good bones where you're finding the gypsum. So this is an indicator that hey it's that salt layers water, probably but that not, layers probably yeah. not have anything yeah. in it. 